Hey everybody, welcome to Learning to Learn with Chad. Today we're going to talk about Howard Gardner and his theory of multiple intelligences. And how this theory can help you learn the best way for you to learn. So put your learning hats on and get ready to learn, because we're about to learn how to learn. Oh my word, I just can't learn this math right. Maybe you just haven't found the right way to learn it. Whoa! You're Chad Fisher, what are you doing here? I'm here to talk to you about Howard Gardner's theory of multiple intelligences. And who's Howard Gardner exactly? Time, Time out! Howard Gardner is a psychologist who is based at Harvard Graduate School of Education. Three of his contributions to psychology are his design of performance-based assessments and his work for the Good Work Project and his use of multiple intelligences to achieve a more personalized curriculum, instruction, and assessment. Learn. Now hold up! You gotta break this down for me, dog. Break it down? That's a hip-hop term, isn't it? Yeah, man. Hip-hop's my life. Then you must have musical intelligence. Whoa! Hold up! What are you talking about, Chad? I'm talking about multiple intelligences. Time now! Well, there are eight types of multiple intelligences. Linguistic verbal, logical mathematical, let's not forget spatial, musical, body kinesthetic, interpersonal, intrapersonal, and naturalist. Hmm. Well, I certainly don't have mathematical intelligence. Don't feel bad. One of the most remarkable features of the theory of multiple intelligences is how it provides eight different potential pathways to learning. If a teacher is having difficulty reaching a student in a more tra tra traditional, linguistic, or logical ways of instruction, the theory of multiple intelligences suggests several other ways in which the material might be presented to facilitate effective learning. For example, that math problem you got right there. Pretty tough, huh? You can say that again. Well, maybe if you learn, you could learn better if you did it through your musical intelligence. I guess it's worth a shot. Two plus two is always four. Learning through rap ain't never a bore. Whoa, I got it! That's right you did, because you did it through your own way. Yeah, that's cool and all. But I can't rap during a math test. With a performance-based assessment, you can. Time now! In a performance-based assessment, a well-defined task is identified and students are asked to create, produce, or do something, often in settings that involve real-world ap application sorry, of knowledge and skills. The performance may result in a product, such as a painting, portfolio, or exhibition, or it may consist of a performance, such as a speech, athletic skill, reading, or even a family friendly rap. Learn. Wow, Howard Gardner is awesome. Just wondering, what was he up to in 1995 and 2005? He was working for the Good Work Project. Good Work Project? Ain't that the henna tattoo shop named the shop, right? No! Time, Time now! From 1995 to 2005, the Good Work Project, the GWP, Investigated how individuals are able to carry out good work in their chosen professions when conditions are changing at unprecedented rates and when market forces are enormously powerful. Learn. I guess that's interesting. A bit boring, but I'm starting to lose interest. As am I. Well, that's all we got for Learning to Learn with Chad today. And as always, remember, learning to learn is the key to learning. We out. Later.